Hello again, welcome to another edition of Computers 101. This will be a demonstration of my dismantled computer system running Windows 95. It's my main board, my power supply, and my disassembled 500 megabytes Maxter hard drive, which runs Windows 95, and a CD-ROM drive. So we'll go ahead and push the power button right here. Fire her up. Brings back memories, doesn't it? Now we'll just sign on. Notice how the arm is moving rapidly over the platters. So first I'll do an interesting operation. I'll pretend I'm adding a new hardware device to the system just to see what the hard drive does. Just hit next. It's hard to do while holding the camera at the same time. And the detection is in progress, and meanwhile the little arm is going crazy over here on the platter. The movement is a little too fast to detect at my current uh, rec uh, recording rate on the camera. There you can see it a little better this time. It's moving very, very rapidly. That's really, really fast. Here's what a disk defrag looks like on the hard drive. It's evidently going back and forth from the middle of the platter and back. And we're about 3%, uh, now 4% complete. That's how shiny the platter is. You can actually see the camera. You gotta keep it very, very clean and dust free or else it won't operate anymore. Can't get any scratches on it. And the disk defrag on Windows 95 is very, very fast. I'd say it's got to be one of the fastest of all the Windows releases. Then finally, we'll do a scan disk operation, which in Windows 2000 and later versions was replaced by check disk, or CHK. B-I-S-K. So we're going to start and then run and type in C-O-M-M-A-N-D. It's great doing this single-handedly. Hit OK. At the DOS command prompt, we type in S-C-A-N-D-I-S-K. And hit Enter. 
and we'll hit start to start a standard scan disk for the drive C. While that's in progress, we can see what this guy's doing. It's not too different from the other operations, but it should get interesting soon. So that it's stopping on various areas of the platter. While checking the file system for errors. And again, scan disk moves rather quickly on Windows 95. Well, maybe it's because I'm running on 84 megabytes of RAM here, which is really quite a lot to run Windows 95. And we're finished. Here are the results. No bad sectors. That's not bad. That's great. Okay, now I'll perform a shutdown. Shut down the computer. Click yes. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this footage of inside a hard drive as it's operating Windows 95. Hopefully I'll come up with something else that's pretty interesting.